Well, happy Tuesday. It means it's time for this week's video. Get ready. Well, today I was reading a post by Jimmy McCollum uh, in the Friends of Mike Williams in the Gospel Revolution Facebook group. And he was essentially talking about how uh, the silliness and the error of uh, religion and Christianity is to think that sin is still an issue. And uh, for some reason, I immediately thought of what the Pharisees told the boy who had been blind from birth, young man actually, who had been blind from birth, uh, when Jesus healed that young man, um, he went to the Pharisees, or he was brought to the Pharisees. They interrogated him, what happened. Um, and then, I love the story, because he, they started getting uh, adversarial with him. And he basically schooled them and, and uh, got kind of sassy with them, and they didn't like that. And they told him to shut up. You were born in sin. And then they kicked him out. And they were, then the Pharisees were just so self-righteous and very, very uh, proud. They felt superior to that young man. Um, and it's quite obvious that the Pharisees thought certain people were born in sin, and yet, and the Pharisees themselves were superior. And they, they apparently were never born in sin. And it's just really funny, because that just reminds me also of what I said in the other video about how when they were aghast when Jesus actually called himself, finally, towards the end, he actually did admit he was the Son of God, and they were aghast, because that would mean he would be equal with God. And that, you know... They obviously didn't know what the Messiah would be, and that, that of course, was the mystery. Um, the, nowadays, we have a mystery of sin. We still have modern-day Pharisees. Those Pharisees, they were so self-righteous by the law, they actually thought some people were born in sin, yet others weren't, and, and later sinned in life, or something like that. They didn't strangely enough, didn't grasp the concept that they actually were also born in sin, and so was everybody else prior to the cross. Because everybody was guilty and condemned by and condemned with original sin, the sin of Adam. Yet they felt superior and condemned that young man, saying he was born in sin, as if they weren't. Now, it's kind of reverse Pharisee, Pharisee uh, in religion and especially in Christianity because now they do teach that, uh, they do teach the sin of Adam, they do te teach about what's called original sin in Christendom, but they teach we all are still born in original sin. They have no concept of what happened at the cross. They have no concept, nor did the Pharisees, as to why John the Baptist said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. They have no concept of the fact that once the Lamb of God was slain, the sin of the world would be taken away. And they have no concept that everyone since the cross is no longer born in sin. It's revolutionary, I know. Have a revolutionary.